So I have a uh, Turanis X7 uh, radio control radio transmitter and um, when I start her up. Welcome to OpenTX. I'm getting an RTC battery low warning. Um, not seen this before, but um, it relates to the internal real time clock battery. So I thought we'd do a quick video on how to change that battery over. So you don't want to watch me taking all the screws out for this. So I'll be back in a second. Just four screws to take the back off. One, two, three, and four. When you do come to put the case back on, just be careful of this little slot here, which is where the pins come through that fit onto the um, high range X module. Just be careful you don't bend them. So let's have a look at this real time clock battery. Okay, so this is a little jobby in question. Um, it's a, a CR1220 and we can just pop that out quite simply just by popping it out with a screwdriver um, from here Oop, that popped out nice enough and then pop another one back in simple as that so let's just check that she's working Excellent, worked a treat. Okay, one other interesting thing is these little connectors on this uh, on this bottom board allow you to add in a couple of extra switches with later versions of OpenTX. So you just need a little standard, I think these are JSTs, I think. So I thought I'd show you a couple of mods I've done on the radio. Obviously there's a little transmitter stand, uh, an iRange X module, gives you extra um, protocols because I've got some hobby type drones. Um, the battery and the battery connector I've modified. So I've got a, a, a LiPo battery extension. Um, what I found was when, when I first connected my battery up, this little receiver here that takes the connector uh, can actually bend up from the board. So this permanently sits in the in the battery socket, if you like, and then I can disconnect the battery here for charging. Um, the battery, I can't remember what I got this from AliExpress or Banggood, but it came with a, a really horrible connector on it, which I had to um, remove because it, it just made putting it in the radio a, a real nightmare. But the battery itself is uh, is quite good. You know, very rarely have to charge it up, lasts forever and a day. Um, but yeah, so there you go. 